Okay, so um, today is well. Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Taro. Today is December sixth, twenty twenty-three. Um, when was the last time I posted? Oh, yesterday. Okay, cool. Not bad. So yesterday, right? Um, so today is December sixth, twenty twenty-three. So Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, Wednesday. Cool. So, before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, gives you clarity, great. If it doesn't, then, uh, you know, don't force it to be your story, right? So... All right, um, so I'm just going to see which ones to start off with first. Alright, there's something about being the piggyback, um, piggybacking, um, wow, okay, so, somebody is like, um, uh, I don't know, this, obviously, I don't really, obviously it's not you, but, um, alright, 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 hold on. Okay, so with this whole, it's like a piggybacking energy. Like, you know, piggyback when you, like, carry someone on your back, right? So, but here's the thing, though. Um, so, let's say person one was doing something or wanted to do something. Person two it wants to do, you've got two people wanting to do the same thing, right? Which is fine. But for some reason, it's like one of them, I don't know, to make it easy for you to understand, I'll do person one, person two, right? Person one wants to carry person two, but person two doesn't need to be carried. I don't know. There's something like that. All right. It's like um, someone wants to continuously put you on their back, like, give you piggyback rides, but it's like, you don't need them anymore, or you don't need, you don't need that, like, that's not necessary. I don't know, that's, I feel like it's really, it's not, uh, because they gen, it's not about helping, that's not, it's not it, that's funny, that's cancer, it's not about helping. It's more along the lines, it's like, um, uh, you only have that because of me, or this is possible because I'm still helping you. And then when reality is you don't need the help, you don't need to be piggybacked, like, you don't need someone to carry you when you can just carry yourself, in a sense. But somebody wants, I feel like... It's weird to say, but this person really wants to piggyback. They, they really want to carry you. They really want to help you. But it's only for the sole purpose of being able to be like, oh, you only have this because of me. Or this is only possible because of me. I feel like that's what they want most of all. Not the helping. It's They don't even have good intentions with that, right? It's not like they genuinely want to help you. It's that they genuinely really want to be able to say, you wouldn't have this without me. And you just don't need that person anymore, or you don't even need that thing anymore, or you don't need whatever it is. All right, all right, let's... All right. Anyways, I'm not, no, 
death too. That's so funny. It's cancer again. Cancer and in Libra. Yeah, and somebody wants to like work with you. They want to seem like it's it's like there's something nurturing about their help, about their partnership, about them working with you. I feel like, but it, there's something false about it. Like they're so look in Cancer, right? Intuition to protect, attitudes from the past about resulting from the history of at intuition to protect, cooperation to perfect. It's like this person they want to. I don't know, like, oh, let me help you. I can help you. But it's not like it's it, there's something phony about it. Like they only want to help you so that way they can be like, oh, you wouldn't have this if it wasn't for me. I keep getting that specific line. You wouldn't have this if it wasn't for me. Or like, I'm the only one that's helping you. Or like, I'm the only one that's here. And it's like somebody wants to really say that to you, but they can't. There's There's no... I feel like in your in your eyes, like what else do you need to help me with? You don't I don't need your help. There's no room for you here. And I feel like this person I d I don't know what, but um could be a cancer, could be a Libra. But it's like false nurturing, false like their intentions behind this, oh let me help you, let me help you, right? The intentions behind that. It's actually like so that way they can be like, well, you wouldn't have this if it wasn't for me. It's a, it's so like set on that. Cooperation to perfect decisions about resulting from the fairness shown by. Yeah, I feel like this person, they want to make it seem like they're all for you or like they're here for you. Anything you need, you know, they're, they're there for you. But it's really so that way they can just turn around and be like, well, if it wasn't for me, the collective wouldn't have that. Or the collective is only here because of me. Or like the collective this and the collective that and... You know, me, 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 and I, 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 I. It's like they want to be, they want to like, it's like those people who like help homeless people and poor people, but then like they post about it online. It's like that. It's like they want you so bad to be poor or homeless or helpless or like need of help or whatever it is. So that way they can be the shining star of you. This person wants attention and recognition and praise because of for helping you like it's so like it's it's got to be you like and it's like they really want you to like piggyback on them and it's just like I don't need to hop on your back I could just walk myself or I can just drive myself or I can just carry myself I'm good this person's like are you sure are you sure well let me just help you let me just help you and it's like they want to help you with something you could just do on your own. And it's really because, again, they want to be able to be like, oh, yeah, I was I was there when the collective did this. I helped them. I, I... And it's just that's so annoying. So if this is a cancer, they're using partnerships as a way to make themselves feel good. If this is a Libra, they're using nurturing as a way to make themselves look good. All right. But there's nothing um, genuine about this. It, it's not. It, it's false. It's really so that way they can be like, oh yeah, the collective wouldn't have this if it wasn't for me. I did that. I did that. I was there. I was there. I gave. I gave them. It's like they want to. You could. You could be somebody that has natural attention given to you on you, whatever it is. You naturally have that on you. It's like they want to take that away by making you seem like. You're out of like a puppy, like a, a helpless puppy, 909. Like a, like, I, I don't know why you're giving the collective attention when, you know, they're, they're only there because of me. You know, I, I, I gave them that attention or like, you know, if anything, you should give me that attention because I'm the one that helped them. Yo, I just seen this video and in the video. It talked about two friends. Again, it's the same TikToker that keeps popping up on my feed. In the video, she's talking about how when that one friend doesn't like when you get attention. And she talked about the shirts. She said, um, hi. Hold on one second. Okay. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the shirt, right? Um, so... Oh yeah, so the shirts. The one girl, I, I so in the video, 
Um, the one girl was like, uh, it doesn't have to be two women. It could be two men. It could be one woman, one man. Um, it, you know, that's not... I don't think it's really gender specific, but, um, you know, you would know, right? So it could be two feminines, but the one feminine was like, um, so the one chick, I'm like stalling, I know. So let's say girl two, right? She got a compliment on her shirt, right? Some guy walks by, he was like, oh, I really like your shirt, blah, 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 blah. And then the girl two was like, oh, thank you. And then girl one chimed in and she was like, oh, well, um, technically that compliment should go to me because that's my shirt. So, you know, thank you for the compliment. It's like that. And it's just like, that's such ill energy. Like, ill. Like, I don't know. Like, are you that desperate for attention? You must be, right? Because you're doing, I don't know. Like, it's that's just ill. That's ill energy. So anyway, so it's like that, right? Um, somebody wants to be like, and like you don't need this person's shirt or help or whatever it is and it is what it is and they're not happy about that because it's like they're not in a position where they can be like oh well you know that shine should be on me those compliments should be for me that acknowledgement or that promotion or um if you really want to ask them on a date you should ask me on a date because they got i don't know from me whatever it is right like it could be, it could even be something simple as like music, like someone's complimenting on your music or your lyrics or your your beat or whatever. And this person would chime in, well, I technically I wrote that song for her, or I wrote, you know, I was I produced the music for her, whatever the case may be. So I should get that compliment. It's like, do you really want the compliments that bad? Like you really want to be acknowledged that bad? Like, it's it's so weird how this person is willing to like help someone, but only to like. I don't know, like they want the shine from, but it has to be from you. Like, I don't know. It's like it's something about like making you seem like you need the help or you're like in distress or you're like, they want to seem like someone who is like, um, not like a philanthropist, but I guess kind of in a way they want to be seen like that. 1242. They want to be seen as someone who like, helps the needy or help the poor and in this situation you are the one that needs to be like the needy or the poor or the one that's struggling it's like but you don't need the help you're not needy you're not struggling you're not poor right it's weird maybe i feel like for maybe you were that person for a very long time or you were in that position and this person was helping you and they like they got praise for, oh, you're such a good person. You're such a good Samaritan. You're such a good civilian. You're such a, right? And it's just like, I don't know. They want to keep that up. But it's like, you don't need it anymore. Or you're like, <sighs> anyways. All Hallows Eve, call upon the voices that stir your senses through the night. Cast an unforgiven howl as you stomp your might through the ground. This is exactly why you don't need it because you're not walking into your power. You could even be stable. Like you have a job, you have a home, you have a career, you have schooling, you have stability, you have finance, whatever it is that you have. And for, oh my God, wow. For a lot of you, you could have gotten this yourself, right? So if this person, for example, if this person was like helping you on your feet, right? And you're good now, right? This person can be like, oh yeah, they're only good because I'm helping them. They're only good because I'm I'm in the picture. And all. So they're no longer in the picture, right? You're now in your power. You have your own shit together. You're good to go, la, 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 la. And it's like, I don't know. It's not sitting well with this person only because they can't, I feel like, they were using your struggles as like some sort of like identity for them. Like they were being seen as like someone who helps, someone who provides, someone who, but it also had to do with like, this is their image. Like they need to, they needed to be seen as someone who like, you know, oh, you're such a helping hand in the community or you're such a, you're always helping those in need and this, this and that. And in this situation, you're not a those in need. 
you're independent, walking in your power, doing your own thing, right? Whether you're uh, divine masculine or divine feminine, you're doing it yourself. And it's like, it's not, this person, they're still trying to find a way to get like um, recognition from that. Like, oh, they're only able to do it on their own because I was there to help them. And it's like, that's not, um, like, for some reason, I really want to say this, but, like, yes, that may be true. Absolutely, right? No one's doubting that. But the fact that you're trying to get shine from someone else's struggles and then their success by trying to insert yourself into that, I don't know. It's like they're entitled to some sort of shine because they were there to help you at one point. And it's just like, they can't, it, it could even be like royalties too. Um, but it's like, you can't, that's not going to work forever. I don't know why you think it will, but it's like, yes, because you, just because you helped this person when they were in need doesn't mean you're entitled to their shine or like, well, they're only successful or they only got this promotion or they only got this job. Right, you may have been a stepping stone for them, but they're the ones that are keeping that afloat. You see what I'm saying? It's like, for example, it's like, oh, they they only got that job because of me. Okay, yes, but they are the ones. The collective is the one that's keeping the job. Okay, they are the collective. The collective is the one that's doing the work to keep and maintain and, you know, do the work, the job. So you may have been like, Oh, they only know about spirituality because of me. Or they only know about that church because of me. Or they only know about that band because of me. Okay, but it's the collective that are going to the concerts and, you know, keeping up with the social media and doing the work and, you know, oh, they only know about that house because I told them that it was available. Right, but it's the collective that did the paperwork and they did the financing, they did the loans, they did all the work to get the house. You may have given them the initial information for it, but it's the collective that has been doing the work. And I feel like this is what the problem is. This person wants to keep that lineup. Like, they want to keep that lineup like, oh, they're only this because of me. And it's like, that's so ill. That's like so ill because it's like, how long are you going to keep doing that for? Like, I don't know. It's like, if anything, that's not affecting the collective's image. Like, you're not getting the accolades you want just because you keep saying that. Like, yes, no one's denying that. That may be true. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, go find something else to help. Go something, find something else to fix. Go, go find someone else to enlighten, right? If you're so wise and you're so whiz, like knowledgeable, like go teach elsewhere. Stop trying to be like, oh, I taught them. I taught them. I taught them. I know them. I know them. I know them. It's like, okay, so like. I feel like this person they're keeping okay then they're keeping themselves stuck by trying to like get a shine from you i don't know it's it's really like ill like how long are you gonna keep doing that for like now like if this is about music it could be like oh that song is only popular because i wrote it okay so go write another popular song like that song is like 10 years old. Go write another popular song. If you're so good with your lyrics and all that stuff, go ahead. No one, no one's stopping you from helping other people, from, you know, teaching other people, from learning other things, from guiding other people. I don't know why there's this person is so hung up on, like, you. And that's what's really annoying. It, there's something pathetic about it, too. It's like, are you that desperate to get, like, recognition from the collective because you helped them? Like... I don't know why you're gonna keep holding on to that. That's so weird. <laughs> you don't need them in your life. Whoever this person is, they want to make it seem like there's something like again, their sense of nurturing. It, 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 there's something phony about it. Um, but either way, you don't. This is not the kind of nurturing that you need. This kind of help is the kind of help that you help somebody and they throw it back in your face. You don't. No, that's not the kind of help you want. That's not the kind of help that you need in your life. Just so that way they can like, and then this person, these people, they will follow you. Oh, well, you can't, you can't. I was there. Remember, I was there when no one else was. I was there when no one else was. I was there. It's like, okay, it's been like five years, 10 years, 20 years. Like, how long are you going to keep saying that? 
you helped me like 30 years ago. That one week you helped me 30 years ago. Like, can I live my life now? Can you find someone else to help? Can you move on? Like, I don't know why you're still holding on to that. That's not help that you need. That's, I don't know, people who do that, it's like, they, uh, I don't know, they, they want to hold it over your head or something. Dark witch, yeah. So this could be a dark, uh, dark feminine, wow. It could be a dark feminine or dark masculine, a karmic, right? <coughs> Resulting from the fairness shown by, yeah, this is somebody who, they want to throw it in your face, how like, you know, I helped you when no one else was there, right? I, I was there, you know, I partnered up with you. I gave you friendship. I gave you companionship. I, I, I was your friend when no one else was your friend. And it's like, okay, does that mean that we're supposed to be friends for like ever? That's not always the case, right? But whoever this is, this is a dark witch. And it's bothering them that you're walking in your power because you don't need them. And on top of that, I feel like this person, are, they're saying things like that where I was there or I gave them that job or I told them about that house or I told them about those lyrics. I just saw it 21, 22. Or I gave them the idea or whatever the case may be. And it's like they're still going around town or the community or the environment or the job saying that line. And people are just like, now people are like rolling their eyes like, okay, we, we get it. We're not. All right. Because what? At the end of the day, it's the collective. Like, you may have gotten the collective, that house, that that idea, that job, that person. You may have been a matchmaker, whatever it was, but it's the collective that's keeping it going, right? Because it's like you can get someone an opportunity, but if they don't take care of that opportunity, it's gone, right? It's the collective's job to maintain that opportunity going, and that's what you're doing. But it's like they want recognition because you're continuing that opportunity. It's just like, <laughs> so yeah it's like all right that was like 10 years ago 20 years ago 30 years ago and you're still going on about it they want what you have that's weird yeah I, they, they, they just want that shine that you're getting this person could it could even be like you both have the same shirt right or you, so I feel like I said this before, also to specifically about shirts. So, for example, this is like very, 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 very vague, very, very on a, on a small, minuscule scale, all right? You got two people, two women, two men, doesn't really matter, two people. And one person, person one is wearing a shirt. You know, we're on town, they're at their job, blah, 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 great, great, whatever. Then person two borrows person one's shirt. Person two is getting compliments left and right, left and right, left and right. And person one's like, well, those compliments should be mine because that was my shirt, right? It's like they're upset because they're not getting the same attention, the same shine. And it's like, that's so annoying. It's like, okay, well, you can have your shirt back. I don't need it. So you went and got your own shirt. And they're like, oh, well, they wouldn't have had that shirt or the, like, I, it's... If it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for me, okay. Yeah. Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Um, so if this person was helping you in a time of need, uh, so was God. What is that? Um... Ecclesiastes 317, but let me get to Psalm 34, 18, though, um, because there's something else I have to say about that. So this person wants to make it seem like this is why you don't need this person. This is not love. The, what this person is trying to make it seem like or trying to give you, that's not love. It's just uh, some form of weird control so that way they can have like, oh, yeah, um, I can't believe you did this for the collective. You're such a good person. You're such a good person, blah, 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 right? Um, that's not love. I feel like while this person out here was making you feel like this was love, this was, you know, out of the kindness of their heart, this was genuine. God was also finding ways to show you what true love is, that you're like truly never alone. This person wants to make you feel like without them, you will always be alone. But that's not true because you will always have God, even in the lowest forms and like, 
when you're struggling, you always have God, right? And I know people be like, well, God won't pay your bills. Listen, that's, all right, you can think that, but whatever. Anyways, Ecclesiastes 3.17, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there shall be a time there for every purpose and for every work. God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. I feel like this person was trying to help you, but again, their help was like phony. This person is being judged for that, trying to make it seem like, oh, without me, without me, without the collective, they wouldn't have this, they wouldn't have this, and... That's so false. There's that's so you don't help people and then be like and then go around town and be like, well, I help the collective. I help the collective. If you're gonna help somebody, help somebody. You don't need to be holding it above their head for like the next five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty years. Because that's not love, that's not help. You're just doing that so that way you can be like so that way the community can be like, Oh, you're such a nice person, you're such a good person. This is a dark witch. They use like emotions to make themselves look good, partnerships, like let me help you, I, I, you know, it's not a problem at all, right? And then it's like, just so that way they can look at, oh, you're such a good person. This is a dark witch. They don't do things out of genuity. Like, I don't know, they just, they don't help people because they truly want to help people. They help people, like I said, this is somebody who will help somebody and then like post about it or talk about it or like, um, and then it's not even about videos. It's also like, um, because I see posts all the time, like, oh, I was at Walmart and this woman needed help. And so, you know, me being, you know, a kind person, you know, I understood where she's coming from. So I too gave her like $20 so that way she can feed her family. Like, you don't need to do all that. Just help her and then keep it pushing and then just, you know, go on about your day. But I feel like people who do that, like they want to... Oh, you're such a good person, like, right? I don't know, it's just something the way, about the way this person helps, it's, it's not genuine, it's not. Anyways, they're being judged for it, okay? They're being judged for it. Um, And I feel like you've also realized that this is not, with your intentions, for there shall be a time there for every purpose and for every work. It's like this person, they're, they actively seek out Either they're actually seeking situations out like this or like they're trying to like make you seem like you're a situation in need. It's there's something wrong about the way this person does this. It's not love. It's not genuine. It's not real. And they're being judged for that. Like this person actively seeks out like situations so that way they can use it to shine and that's not right that's not right you don't do that right now i'm not saying that you shouldn't go out in the community and help those in need but it's like this person it's like they do it specifically so that way they can shine about it right now if you're gonna go out in the community and help people in the community that's great but you also don't need to use other people's struggles and downfalls to be like, oh yeah, I did this, I did this, I did that, I did that, I did this, I did this, I did that, I did that. You don't have to do that. But that's what this person does. They actively seek out situations so that way they can use it to shine. I keep repeating myself. I know, I'm sorry. It's just like, who does that? Like, that's, that's wrong. That's so wrong. You don't do that. And this person, they're being judged for it. Which is crazy because if this is a cancer, like, you're a natural nurturer. Like, you shouldn't be using that. And, like, you're supposed to be a safe haven. Like, as a Cancer, you're the homemaker. You're supposed to be a natural home. You're not supposed to be using that gift, that skill. Bless you. Oh, hold on. I got to wipe my nose. That ability to, like, make yourself look good. Because it's kind of, like, giving, like, uh, I'm not even going to say it. And then, like, if you're a Libra and you're doing this, like, that's just, you're not supposed to be, that's just wrong of you to do. Like, you're supposed to, like, use the partnerships around you. You're supposed to, like, be about equality and fairness. Like, you're not supposed to use someone's downfall to lift you up. Like, you're unbalancing your own scales. Like, look. Like, lifting yourself up 
by using someone's downfall, by putting them down even further, just to, you're not balancing the scales for yourself at all, Libra, if that's what you are doing. And as a Cancer, if you're doing this, like you're a homemaker, you're supposed to be a safe haven. You're not supposed to be, oh, well, I helped you, I helped you, I helped you. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Um, but it doesn't have to be Cancer, it doesn't have to be Libra. But I'm just saying, if this is a Cancer doing this, or if this is a Libra doing this, you're being judged because there's this, I don't know what you're doing. There's a time and place for everything. And for some reason, the way you're going about this, it's not the right time. It's not the right place. It's like they're almost forcing these situations to happen. They could also be trying to force you to be in a like a, a situation where you're like struggling or you need to be seen as someone who's struggling or needs help. It's like they're trying to force that situation onto you. And it's like... God's literally telling the collective, listen, that's not love. That's not, you don't, that's not something you need. You don't need people who are doing that to you. Bless you. <laughs> they want what you have. I'm going to have to clarify that because like, oh, it's your power, duh. So you may have um, gotten knocked down for a bit. They want... So you can... You have like this power by yourself, right? The devil. Yeah, they're obsessed with this power that you have. It's like a natural power, a natural shine. They want shine from helping you. It's like they want to walk in your shine or share your shine or it's, it's a light, whatever, but they're obsessed with it. This power that you have, right? So like, again, they may have helped you at one point because you needed the help, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Humans tend to need help from time to time. That's fine, right? But the problem is when you've got humans like this, taking advantage of humans like this, just because humans like this naturally have this power, it's like, how can we make the collective seem like they need help so that way we always have access to their power? Oh, I know. Let's make them seem like they're always struggling. Let's make them feel like they're always struggling. Let's make them sense or this or, I don't know, it's stupid. But, um, yeah, these people are obsessed. So there's also, we got Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn, could be Libra, could be Cancer. Um, again... If this is a Capricorn, let me tell you, I don't know why I said it like that. But if this is a Capricorn, shame on you too, because you're supposed to be a natural leader. So you got, you're supposed to, you're not, I don't know, like, it's just, well, everybody's just using their gifts and abilities for like the wrong and they're being judged for it. Like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're being judged for it. Anyways, um, this person, these people, they're like obsessed with your power, your natural power, your natural shine. That's what they want. That's what they want. They want power, right? They want power. And it's like, where are you going to get this power that you want so bad? Where? Because you can't buy it. I, I literally, I feel like I said this already, right? About power, like you can't buy it. You can't negotiate. You can't trade it. This is a God-given right and you don't have it. That's what they want. They want your power. Call upon the voices that stir your senses through the night. Cast an unforgiven howl as you stomp your might through the ground. Yeah, this death, ten of pentacles. These could be people in your family that want your natural power. It's like, you, uh, you're very powerful. Wow. Um, they're also obsessed with how comfortable you are. How you're constantly going through transformations, how you're constantly changing, how you're constantly... Also, what they don't like is that you're just willing to end things with them, right? Hold on, my phone is going off. Yeah, so... Yeah. Um, they could have also tried to put something in your food or your drink because in Alice's card, it said, the death card, it said, eat me, drink me. And then in the devil card, there's like food and drinks on their table. Um, so if it's not like they were trying to put things in your food or drink, it's like 
they were hoping that you would poison yourself. For a lot of you, it's just like with substance abuse or alcohol or just like keep your body poisoned. I feel like it's really more like that. It's if they couldn't poison you themselves, they were wanting you to poison yourself. If you're poisoning yourself, that's all on you, right? That's you. You're doing it. They don't have blood on their hands, right? But if you're poisoning yourself, you're dampening your power. You don't have access to your power. Um, it's like trying to keep an addict an addict, right? And it's like you're not realizing your potential. You're not realizing your power. You're not walking in your power. You're not walking in your strength. Death in reverse. They did not want that to end. But somehow you just ended all of that and just started walking in your power. And that's what's really bothering them because they can't say... Oh, yeah, we're helping the collective or we helped the collective because at this point, okay, like nobody cares about that anymore because it, that's, that's not like relevant anymore. That's really what it is. It's not relevant. Smooth as butter. There's something that's, it's like smooth as butter for you, but it's not for them. Anyways, they're being judged for that, right? Uh, because... These people, if they have skills and abilities that they were being given, like gifted, they were using them for the wrong things. And that was to keep you from walking into your power because they want your power because it's like, oh, well, I should, I should have that power because, you know, I was the one who, you know, I have this or I have. <sighs> That's just so ill, man. That's just so ill. Like, ill, like. Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Reverse. Yeah, so you had to walk away from these people. These could be, again, people in your own family. You walked away from them because either, I feel like it's both. There's no love from these people for you. And you're like, if they don't love me, then I might as well just walk away and like put my love elsewhere. There's no love from these people. What there is, is obsession Control, um, false nurturing. There's something toxic about um, their love, quote, quote, their love, or toxic about the way they nurture. It's like toxic nurturing. This is not good. These people, they're being judged. God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. So you could be... I also feel like if you were in a very um, poor place in your life, right? Your mind, body, soul, spirit was not healthy. It was unclean. It was poisoned. You were sinning. It was not good. I feel like they, they want to make that relevant so bad still. And they want to make it seem like, oh, because a collective was this at one point. It's for some reason, because you were going through struggles, that doesn't make you righteous in God's eye. But it's like, God's like, um, what? You don't know that. You don't know what's in my eyes. That's a side note. She is so precious. <laughs> five of wands yeah these people are fighting they're fighting because they don't they're fighting for what you have which is so weird there's like conflict arguing there um there's a lot of frustration <laughs> they're fighting for what you have they want what you have and they're fighting amongst themselves it's like they're obsessed they're also mad because God is, like, next to you. God is, like, you've got hands on your back that are from God. You're being carried by God. That's why you don't need to be carried by these people. It's like, God, it's, like, also, too, I want to tell you something. God showed you. God's, like, if you trust in me, have faith in me, I will show you how you need to be carried. I will show you what it's like to be carried. Let me carry you. Right? Put your woes into me, your struggles. All of it. I will show you what it's like to be carried by the most high. And you're like, okay. 
And as soon as you do that, you're walking in your power. These people are mad because God is carrying you. You don't need to be carried by these people. And God's telling you, you don't need these people in your life. You have me. You have me, right? The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. God, you have God. God is with you. You don't need these people. And they're fighting because of that. They're fighting. The emperor. That could be God. But it could also be an emperor. That's... God. Side note, there's an emperor who is not happy... With these people, these people could have said something to an emperor about you. You know what? I had so many songs coming into my head yesterday. Um, one was Your Love by Nicki Minaj. The other one was Wolves by Kanye West. And the other one was um, Take Care by Drake. Those three songs came into my head yesterday simultaneously back to back to back. And in the one song, Take Care by Drake, it goes, I've asked about you and they've told me things, but my mind didn't change it. I still feel the same. What's a life with no fun? Please don't be so ashamed. I've had mine, you've had yours. We both know. We know. Hold on, baby. I will turn it on. Hold on. I will turn it on. So if these people were saying something to an emperor that was supposed to be yours or it's supposed to be with you, um, because you were in a struggle situation or you needed help, baby, mommy's turning it on. Look here, right? Because of that situation, um, they're also being judged for that. This emperor is also seeing that he's also turning to God because he wants a commitment, a relationship with you. Four of swords. Oh, uh, the emperor, ten of cups reverse, the hierophant, four of swords, and the ace of swords. Um, this emperor who is around you that's going to come towards you because you're now walking in your power, right? Um, this emperor is coming towards you after like a period of healing because now he knows the truth. And the truth, you know how they say beautiful lies, painful truths? That's where that sun is and that ace of swords is. He's This emperor is realizing a painful truth about you that's making him depressed. The painful truth is the complete opposite of what these people, your own family members, told him about you. And again, these people are being judged because they 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 do the absolute most. The magician reverse, the hanged man, knight of wands. Yeah, this person is frustrated. I don't know. They're stuck and frustrated. They're just not exactly sure what to do. They're realizing a lot of dark magic was put on you with the magician in reverse. So this emperor is coming back. Uh, these people are obsessed. They're toxic. They're, I don't know, unfair. They're fighting. They want what you have. I don't know, man. This is just, my throat hurts, though. I don't know if I can talk anymore. Family secrets. This is a family secret. Your own family. That's like your own family threw you under the bus so that way they can... They threw you under the bus and then when no one was looking, right? And then when everyone's looking, oh no, the collective's under the bus, let's help them out. And then everyone's like, oh yay, congratulations, they helped the collective, congratulations, right? That's the secret. Your own family members threw you under the bus to make themselves look good. And this emperor is realizing, holy shit, um, that's that that truth that this emperor is realizing is making him depressed because he was told the complete opposite. Also, I feel like there's some lie that's still going on. It's like they want to make it seem like you're still under the bus, but it's like you're in that bus all the way over there driving away. So anyways, bye.